Extraordinary Attorney Wu episode 4 begins with the case of three brothers and the conflict in between them. In the first scene, we see that two brothers meeting their younger brother to sign a contract about the splitting of their parents' property. On the other hand at Han Barter Law Firm, attorneys are down due to the absence of Wu Young Wu. She is at her father's Jimpup restaurant when her friend, Dong Jurami comes rushing to her. They greet each other like this whenever they meet. <laughs> She then complains about a memorandum her uncles tricked her father into signing to get their hands on the land compensation. She tells her that, while her uncles have taken most of the compensation, her father is left in debt due to the taxes that he has to pay from his share. The three then take a spontaneous trip to Dong Jurami's hometown to get the memorandum. During the journey, Wu Young Wu's father talks about the girls' old school and we are taken to a memory from the past. The two had moved to the countryside due to the bullying that Wu Youngwu faced in her school in Seoul, hoping that things would be different in the small town. However, things were no different in the new school. She says that her classmates bully her using sorry game. Her classmates troubles her and then says, sorry. But things changed when one day the troublemaking student, Dong Jurami stepped up to defend Wu Young Wu. We will also find that she was called Psycho because of her proactive character. Since then, Wu Young Wu started following Dong Jurami, and soon the two became friends. Back in the present, the trio arrive at Dong Jurami's house. Upon looking at the memorandum, it is concluded that he can file a complaint and that his brothers had lied to Dong Dong Sam. He agrees to do so but when he asks if Wu Young Wu would be handling the case, she says no. She then tells Dong Jurami to go to Jung Myung Siak to help her with the case. Dong Jurami soon calls Wu Young Wu, telling her that Jung Myung Siak is not willing to take on the case due to there being no proof of the deception. Jung Myung Siak then tells Wu Young Wu that if she has anything to say, then she should come to the office. She rushes to Han Barter and shows her desperation in wanting to help her friend. While Young Wu reaches the law firm, we notice that how excited Jun Ho was to see Wu Young again. Jung Myung Siak tells her that this case should be handled by her as no one will take on a case with such a low win rate. He also tells her that her resignation has not been processed yet as she had not given a reason for the same. Later, when Wu Young leaves the office, Jun Ho tells her how much he missed lunch time with her and also mentions about the gift he placed on her table. But surprisingly, Jun Ho came to know that she threw it away as she was not aware whose gift it was. Then she leaves the firm with her friend. In the courtroom, Wu Young Wu asks the eldest brother if he told his youngest to sign the memorandum based on the inheritance law, but the defendant lies and says he did not say that. The case doesn't seem to go in the positive direction for Wu Young Wu, and the court is postponed. Jung Myung Siak asks Dong Dong Sam if there's any witness that they can find and they remember that the village head might have tried to overhear the conversation. They then go to the village head's house where he tells them that he did in fact overhear the conversation and they all rejoice for being able to find a witness. Dong Jurami notices the way Lee Jun Ho is around Wu Young Wu and lets the two go back to Seoul alone while telling Lee Jun Ho about a sunset date spot nearby. The two soon reach the place and the talk about Wales begins until Lee Jun Ho asks her why she quit being an attorney. She tells him that even if she is attorney Wu Young Wu, people still see her as autistic Wu Young Wu which makes her the weakest in the team and renders her of no use to the team. Upon hearing this, he tells her that she was the attorney who he actually need in his side. We can see that Wu Young's heart fluttering by hearing this. Elsewhere Kwon Min Wu asks Jung Myung Siak if Wu Young Wu will be given a penalty for not coming to the office and taking on cases as she likes. 
while adding that if she is being given special treatment due to her disability. Jung Myung Siak tells him that it is his fault for not processing her resignation and she is not being given any special treatment. He is not processing the resignation simply due to the fact that she is a talented attorney whom he doesn't want to let go of due to some unforeseen situations. The next day at the trial, when Wu Young Wu asks the village head if he overheard the brother's conversation, he denies and it is soon known that he has plotted this with the two elder brothers. Later that day, Dong Ju Rami expresses her frustration over the people who are lying in the court and says that it's not like she can make her own evidence. This sparks an idea in Wu Young Wu's head. During the memorial of the brother's father, Dong Ju Rami appears at the service with her parents and causes a scene which soon takes on a violent turn. At the next trial, Wu Young Wu submits evidence of the two brothers injuring and insulting Dong Don Sang, which gives him the right to cancel the memorandum. When the defendant's lawyer argues that the assault must be a plan of the plaintiffs, Wu Young Wu asks him if he has any evidence to prove the claim. The lawyer with lack of evidence leads to turning of trial in favor of Dong Dong Sam. Extraordinary Attorney Wu Episode 4 ending has Lee Jun Ho taking Wu Young Wu to the conference room and surprising her with a large picture of a whale on the wall. She tears up as she was filled with joy. Later Dong Dong San's elder brothers apologize to him while telling him about their current situation which is not too good. Dong Dong San tells the two that he has decided to split the compensation equally among the three of them. The three sign the necessary documents and the case comes to an end. Dong Ju Rami shows her happiness and gratitude by embracing Wu. Wu Young Wu then goes to Jung Myung Siak and asks him if she can rejoin. He says that she can, however. She cannot be absent as all her leaves have been used up during this period of time. We then see a scene from a few months back. When CEO Han Xian Young had visited Wu Young Wu's father, Wu Kuang Ho. It is revealed that Han Barter had actually rejected Wu Young Wu's application, but it was Han Xian Young who later accepted her application. Wu Guangho reminds her that Wu Young Wu had not been accepted by any law firm for six months due to her autism. But she tells him that she doesn't want to let go of such a talent. Way back to work, Han Xian Young looks at Wu Young Wu's picture while saying that she resembles her mother. In the next episode, we see a preview of Wu Young dealing with her new case and also about her asking Jun Ho whether he likes her or not. What do you think his answer might be? Let's see in the next episode.